Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at what a second order derivative is so we can answer questions from exercise 12H. So what we need to do um, to find a second order derivative is consider your original equation. Now you can differentiate it once to find the derivative um, and you can differentiate it again to, what we've, to find what we call the second derivative. So if you differentiate it once, you get effectively the first order derivative, twice you get the second order derivative. So that's all it is. It's just differentiating a function twice um, and seeing what we get. And in another video, we'll look at what we um, use this for. But in this video, we're just going to look at how we do it. So for the function y equals 3x to the power of 5 plus 4 over x squared, uh, we're going to look to find the derivative and the second derivative. So the first thing I would do is rearrange uh, the 4 over x squared into 4x to the minus 2. <clears throat> and then differentiate. So remember, it's bring the power down to the front, or multiply the power at the front, and then reduce the power by 1, or subtract the power by 1. And then do it again, basically. So it's now going to be 60x cubed <clears throat> plus 24x to the minus 4. And that's all there is to it. Okay, let's have a go at another one. Uh, f of x equals 3 root x plus 1 over 2x. Now let's rearrange this into um, x to the n form. So it's going to be 3x to the half plus a half x to the minus 1. And differentiate. So in this case here it's going to be a half times 3, that would be 3 over 2, x to the minus 1 over 2 add, and then it's going to be minus 1 times a half, so minus a half, x to the minus 2. So that's the first order derivative. To find the second order derivative, we just differentiate again. So it's now going to be minus a half times 3 over 2. And then it's going to be uh, add minus 2 times minus a half, which will give us 1 again. So it would be minus 3 quarters x to the power of minus 3 over 2, add x to the power of minus 3. Okay, so that's all there is to it, so pause the video and see if you can do it. Right, okay, let's have a go at this question then. So the first thing I would do with 1b is just to rearrange this to a uh, power of x. So it's going to be plus 3x to the minus 1. So the first differential is going to be 15 plus... Okay, 6 would differentiate to 0, so that's going to disappear. So it's then going to be minus 3x to the minus 2. And then the second derivative is going to be 0, and it's going to be plus 3x to the minus 6. So that's the second derivative. Question 3 is given that y equals 2x minus 3 squared, find the value of x when the second derivative equals 0. So the first thing I would do here is expand the brackets. That would be 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. And then differentiate. So in this case here it's going to be dy by dx um, equals um, 8x minus 12 and then differentiate it again and I'm going to get 8. That's strange. Usually we'd have a place to plug in x. But we don't here. The second derivative always equals 8. So in this case here there is no value of x such that The second derivative equals zero. Okay, so that's the answer to these two questions then. So pause the video and have a go at uh, questions from exercise 12H and see how far you get. Right, thanks.